I'm Pam Parker, and you're watching PA TV. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Peters. And I'm Rebecca Farina. And you're watching LIE. Coming up, we'll take a look at upcoming Long Island events. We have more kitchen tips with Antoinette. And we'll take a look back at PATV's Art Day celebration. Plus, we'll show you a peek at PATV's new show, The Brick Wall. All, All that, that and more on LIE. What's that? I think oh. it's this week's hashtag of the week. But before we open it up, let's take a look at last week's hashtag, which was, of course, packaging fails. And we got a couple of good submissions. Whoa. Take a look at this one. Oh my god, I hope she washed those bloomers before she put them on. <sighs> yep, it's uh, Emily Van Voorhees sent us this pic of Target, who seems to send individual items of clothing in different packages. And that lovely packaging that I'm sure is very sanitary. Oh, super sanitary. Squeaky clean. <laughs> oh, wow, what is that? Oh, now this one, this looks like some beard oil, which was shipped in a giant box. It got knocked around, it came undone. I, I hope that's the beard oil in there. I hope that's the, the beard spill. oil. I hope it's not some other mystery liquid. Mm. And then, of course, we have the age-old dilemma. Aww. It's, you know, it's the classic, how are you going to open up the scissors? My scissors are in the package. If you don't already have That's the scissors. That's why I bought this damn thing. I don't have no scissors. <laughs> so that was, uh, Aww, that was sorry, last week's... Darren, <laughs> what the person's name was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Darren, uh, yeah. So that was last week's submission. Uh, what is this week's hashtag? This week's hashtag of the week is hashtag parking like a boss. Dun, da, da, da. What this, inspired this one? This week's hashtag was inspired bar, by our own parking situation here at PATV. And you the take, boss around here. Yeah, take a look Check at this, this picture. Out. So that is uh, our executive director's car and people keep taking our spots here it's a, it's an ongoing problem so our ed decided to park like a boss three spots three or is that spot. four three or four spots now if you out there have your own experience of parking like a boss or you see anybody else that's parking like a boss why don't you take a picture tweet about it uh you can send it to us all over social media here's our handle right down here it's uh, info at PATV. That's right. And it's open for debate whether you think that's parking like a boss or parking like something else. But, you know, find your pictures. Maybe you should park like a boss and take a picture if you can't find a picture to take. Hashtag parking like a boss. Now, let's take a look at uh, upcoming program on PATV. Here's a look at what's coming up this week on PATV. Saturdays and Sundays at noon and midnight, PATV has classic movies. This week, we have My Favorite Brunette, starring Bob Hope. A down-on-his-luck photographer lands himself on death row after attempting to make it as a private investigator. How did things go so horribly wrong? Make sure to tune in and find out. Saturday night, we also have the premiere of Parkwood Ice Show. Watch as students of the famous Andrew Sturgeopolis Ice Rink perform their annual showcase. This year's performance is Cirque Ice, and celebrates with circus-themed routines. Monday at 5.30 p.m., you can catch Access Spotlight. This week, the spotlight is on Dr. Columba Furio Spigner, and she's discussing her latest book, Francesco's Song, a story of love, war, and survival. Tuesday the 3rd, be sure to catch an all-new live Something to Talk About with Bonnie D. Graham. Something to talk about is a bi-weekly talk show that brings interesting guests from a variety of backgrounds to keep you not only well informed, but also entertained. Wednesday at 2 p.m., we have a program from the Manhasset Coalition Against Substance Abuse entitled Understanding Marijuana Today. Tune in to stay informed about the dangers and myths regarding marijuana. Every Thursday at 7 and 7.30 p.m., catch the Grace Grella Show. Grace is an intuitive and a medium and is here to give you all of the good news and positive energy you need to maintain balance in this hectic world. 
The Grace Grella Show will be live May 26th, so be sure to tune in and call in for a chance to speak to Grace. Fridays at 5 p.m. you can catch a rebroadcast of Ma Va Shoma. Host Yafa Soleimani has the latest information and hottest Persian music videos for all to enjoy. And as always, all of our original program will stream on the web so you can take PATV anywhere. Just log on to patv.org slash livestream. Oh, and thanks for watching. With spring just around the corner, Long Island has a lot to offer in terms of entertainment. Let's take a look at what local events are coming up near you. To all the parents and kids watching, keep an eye out for these upcoming family-friendly events. The Merrick Spring Festival is a great way to spend some time with your family. The festival will take place from April 30th to May 1st, so start saving up now. Hofstra University is offering a free program in which families can come and explore the art covering Hofstra's campus. Look at world art with the Beth Page Federal Credit Union Global Explorer Family Backpack and create their own masterpieces based on what they see. The events are available several times during the summer from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please see www.hofstra.edu slash community slash museum slash index for the date. If you're interested in showing your local musicians some support, come check out the Adelphi University Jazz Ensemble. AU will be holding a concert at the Garden City Campus Performing Arts Center on April 29th. The Stoller Center for the Arts at Stony Brook University is proud to present the Paul Taylor Dance Company performing Taylor's Promethean Fire. The group is world renowned and has made appearances at places such as Lincoln Center, so please come enjoy some real talent and skill on May 7th from 8 to 10.30 p.m. Stony Brook will also feature the 2016 Minority and Women-Owned Business Enterprises Expo on June 28th. This event will give MWBEs the chance to meet New York State agencies, expand resources, and more to maximize their opportunities. If you meet the criteria, consider attending to better your business. Some big name artists will be performing at Jones Beach this summer. Pop icon Janet Jackson will be making a special appearance this summer. Miss Jackson will be at Jones Beach on June 25th, so don't miss your chance to be a part of this great musical experience. Jones Beach will also feature bands Weezer and Panic at the Disco on June 30th. This is another rare opportunity to see two great bands side by side, so if nothing else has appealed to your taste so far, this may just be the concert for you. And if you've got any particular interests, there are many events on the island where you can meet people with similar tastes. Every Friday night of May, there will be a car show in the Belmore train station parking lot. This is a great chance for all the car lovers out there to check out all sorts of vehicles, both old and new, so don't forget to drop by. If you're a dog person, check out the All Breed Dog Show coming up this May. From May 20th to May 21st, the Planting Field Arboretum Historic State Park will host this event daily beginning at 9 a.m. If you're a comic book fanatic or love a particular book, film, or TV series, the fourth annual Eternal Con is a chance for you to meet other fans, cosplayers, and even some celebrities. Eternal Con is Long Island's biggest comic convention and will be held at the Cradle of Aviation Museum from June 10th to June 12th. Start preparing your cosplay and get ready to meet some equally passionate fans. The Cradle of Aviation Museum will also hold the 2016 Technology Island Job Fair on Monday, June 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For anyone seeking a job in the technological field, it's time to touch up your resume and dress to impress for the chance to land your dream job. And finally, for all you film buffs, the Long Island International Film Expo will be held from July 13th through the 21st at Belmore Movies. This event will be hosted by the Long Island TV and Film Foundation and the Nassau County Film Commission and will feature anywhere from 50 to 150 independent films. Submissions for films are now closed, but if you're interested in attending, grab your popcorn and come enjoy independent films from all over the world. And that's all we've got for now on upcoming events. Stay tuned for what's to come on LIE. 
Hey, you just saw some great events coming up on Long Island. There's some great reasons to leave your house, so please do. Yeah, I can't wait to check some of those out. You know what event I really love? What? Lunch. Oh, well, guess what? My mom is at it again, cooking, and she has a recipe in this upcoming segment. Hi, my name is Antoinette. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone that watched my last segment on TV, online, or Yoohoo. Mom, it's YouTube. Whoops. Last night, my friend Rosalie came over for dinner. And do you know what she said to me? Internet, why do you make the same boring potatoes every time? And do you know what I said to her? Thanks, Rosalie. But tonight, I have a healthy, delicious, different version of baked potatoes. I'll give you a hint. It'll remind you of a musical instrument. For today, I will cook six medium, even-sized Idaho potatoes. First, peel them, then use the handle of a wooden spoon as a guide in slicing them and not going all the way through and making little shangada pieces. Then, put the potatoes in a bowl with cold water. Please, wash the dirty slobs. Then, put them in a bowl, add some olive oil, and if you're Italian like me, you're gonna be here for a while. And season them with salt and pepper to your taste, and herb, dry herbs, and the seasonings of your choice. Toss the potatoes until they're well coated. Place them in a pan that's the right size for the amount of the potatoes that you are baking. Then place them in a preheated 400 degree oven until they are golden brown and a toothpick inserted in the thickest part of the potato is soft. And manja manja. And don't they look cute? They look like little accordions all opened up. See you next time. Goodbye. They really opened up to me. So this week, this past week in our studio, we had two very talented writers uh, on set over here as part of the show, Italian American Writers. It's true. It's true. It's one of the benefits of working in a TV studio is you get a lot of interesting people coming through here. And we have a clip for you just now. Uh, and if you want to catch the full program, keep an eye out on our website for further details. Enjoy the clip. A point where his father dies. Yes. What was the feeling of his father? Well, when his father dies, uh, he, it's, a transformation takes place in Francesco's mind. Uh, uh, he begins to see himself as he really was. He, he's, he begins to see himself as uh, incapable of loving. Of course, now this comes in from nowhere. It, the right. moment we open the book, it comes in. This is and how we that's start. a cook describing Kara's. Exactly. She was like a fire. I stood at the kitchen door, watching. Even above the clatter and chatter of the kitchen, I heard her. The drumming, like the constant knocking on a door that refused to open, like the beating of an angry heart that was about to explode only different, persistent, yet in perfect rhythm, rising and falling like anxious breath, swelling then subsiding like the ocean. I was drawn to the doorway, held fast there. Her movements were so rapid that her hands were little more than a blur, moving from drum to cymbal back to drum again in a flash, as thoughtlessly as other people breathe. 
as swiftly as a flame engulfs a house or a tree. That's the way she moved, as though it were natural, organic, as easy and effortless as walking, because for her, it was. So this, I, I wanted to give an impression of Kara from the get-go, from somebody else, not from her saying, oh, I'm the world's greatest drummer, but from somebody watching her, being drawn to her. Rebecca, how often do you get a chance to see a live local show right on your TV? Not very often, until now, because now we have a show called The Brick Wall here on PA TV. That's and right. You get to hear live uh, music, stand-up comedy, all kinds of talented people come on Improv here. Improv groups, everything. It's been really awesome. And I want to put the call out to our viewers right now because we're going to start doing this show uh, on the regular uh, in June. So if you have talent and you want to be on TV and stream it on the internet, I want you to email patvbrickwall at gmail.com. Tell us a little bit about your act, and we'll try to put you on the air. You will be on the air. You will you're be talented. on the air. And if you want to take a little sneak preview of what the brick wall has to offer, here's a clip. This is Brick Wall. What are we all about, you may ask? We are a live open mic show televised for all to enjoy. Wondering if you've got what it takes to be on our show? Well. Do you sing? Do you dance? Can you tell jokes? Do you have any talent whatsoever? Doesn't matter. We want you. Just kidding. Please be funny. If you can make it to Long Island and want to perform on our show, all you got to do is email us at patvbrickwall at gmail.com. Just start right at the beginning, man. Uh, let's see. So I was a professional musician. I feel right, uh, right at home uh, watching uh, music be performed here. Uh, I was a professional musician before I started doing stand-up comedy, uh, which just means I'm a special kind of disappointing to my family. <laughs> right? That transition, that's like telling your folks, hey, great news. I'm moving out of the basement and back into my old room. Yeah, get your sewing machine out of there, Mom. Seriously. dinosaurs that's the truth yes that's true that is true but they you know they existed I'm not saying that I'm one of them I believe in dinosaurs but Good. They, they existed a long time ago electricity exists right now we're in a house I know the lights are on <laughs> I know it's real yeah it's 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 super real and how was I supposed to know you fly away and how are you supposed to know that I cry every day for Sarah Beth, for Sarah Beth? I love you more with every breath and every single tiny step. I'm so in love with Sarah Beth. Yes. Johnny, um, tell me, how would you describe the first alien you ever encountered? 
the first alien I ever covered, ever uh, encountered. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, he was really ugly. Um, well, uh -huh. maybe that wasn't the first. <laughs> Now, so what was the, the first? first alien I ever encountered was a small man who had um, big red eyes and a face like a fox. I, and he said, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone you, and I'm gonna mass produce you, and I'm gonna sell you all, all over the universe." Are you telling me that you are not the one really, and only Johnny Dark? He told me that I was the perfect weapon, and that there would be many of me. Wow, you're I like would Django Fett. Spread across time and space one dimension to the next. Oh, so you're the only Johnny Dark we have in this dimension. Uh, there, there are more, there are, yeah. I, I exist in many different worlds. Well, I am glad to have this version of you right here and now. I will say that much. You're welcome. Not too long ago, we had Art Day here at the studio. We celebrated it with a four hour long TV block of programming, all kinds of artistic programming we had dance, we had poetry. We had opera. It was a really big success. Um, coming up, we have a short clip from the day, but if you want to check out the full program, be sure to check out our YouTube page, PATV Long Island. Uh, we have the whole four hour block up there for you to enjoy, but for now, enjoy this little clip. My inspiration for this typeface was one of three ideas of something that describes me. Since I learned at an early age with my grandfather about how an object's parts work, obtained knowledge about different tools, and generally how to fix things, it's become part of who I am and how I problem solve. This, in part with my recent interest in steampunk, led me to create a font that has all those little inner workings. I find it fascinating that when put together they make a system function, but when the pieces are taken apart, they can still have other potential uses. Thank you for looking at my work. So Rebecca, what did we see today? We saw so many things. We saw our open mic show, The Brick Wall. So many talented people will be coming on. and We can't wait to hear from you. Can't wait. We looked back at Art Day. We had kitchen tips. We had two very talented writers on uh, Vito De Simone's show. It's true, it's true. And I think that about wraps it up. So on behalf of no. us at PA... No, you what? forgot again. <sighs> I always forget. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Vibe of the Week with Grace Grella. Thanks, Rebecca and Mike. So happy to be here for everybody to let everyone know what the weekly vibes will be for April 25th the week of and it's get ready get set the planet mercury's going retrograde what, what? on the 28th you know what that means make sure you have all your computers backed up your electronics charged with a backup charger because things go a little haywire and crazy during this time so if you're prepared then it's no big deal and it'll be a smooth sailing for you so remember, back up your computers, make sure you have extra chargers on hand, and if you can avoid it, please don't invest in electronics right now. Uh, not really a good thing, either you'd have to exchange it or uh, figure out that, you know what, I really don't need this or I want something else. So spare yourself the time and the trouble and just wait on it until uh, the end of May. That's when uh, Mercury will be in uh, direct motion and things will be vibing for all your new electronics. So just go with the flow for now, get prepared, get all your extra chargers and batteries ready, and this way you could be vibing in the positive zone just the way we need to be. Thanks for watching. Till the next show, have a good time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
What are you still doing here? They're still here. You just can't get enough, huh? Well, I guess uh, if we have time, do you want to stick you around? Want to see the news? Stick around for the news? All right.